Example of year two, what if you did not write your metric paper as well as you would have wanted to? What if your metric generally does not go well? You know, what if you fail? What if two to three subjects are between level one and three? What if you get poor marks in the key subjects? What if you don't qualify for that degree you wanted or the institution you wanted to go? If you have all these questions and you're wondering to yourself, Hey man, what do I do? Who can I ask? You're on the right video. But for you to go to a home, you can find a subscriber and a follower. I am currently a final year medical student at the University of Cape Town. And I'm here, guys, to give you that kind of advice. So you're on the right video. Stay tuned. Breaking this into an approach your options of different scenarios. Number one, let's say you failed your matric dismally. Ne? You got back and I'll put as a paper. What do you do? My advice to you is that you need to repeat your metric as a whole. If it were me, I would even change my location just to be in a different environment that will not have the same influence that the previous environment had, just so that it feels like a fresh start to prevent any form of judgment and any form of fear. People asking me questions about, Danam, which university one did you get? Or did you get any distinctions? All these unnecessary questions that will make you feel bad about how you did. Some people go as far as starting from grade 11 and doing grade 11 properly, then grade 12, then getting proper marks, then applying Kabu Cha. Because now you're giving yourself another opportunity to success because you also deserve to succeed. Redo your metric. But now the problem is that when people tend to redo metric, they get the same results. You know why? It is because we continue with the same habits that led to our failure to begin with. If you do not have a plan as to what are you going to do differently that is going to lead to a different results that is much better and you make the entire process of restarting the trick absolutely useless because you are doing the same thing. Create a plan for yourself. Do some research. Find out. Ask questions. What are people doing that passed and got distinctions that you were not doing? If you already know, then do the right thing. It is only when you have changed behavior with more purpose and motivation that you're actually going to get better marks and it will be worth it for you. I must agree, Buffet, to that there are a lot of challenges with regards to repeating your entire metric because sometimes it's actually your grade 11 marks that are holding you back from getting a placement in university because they are so poor. My suggestion would then be if you see that your grade 11 marks are very, very poor, be one of those people that actually start from grade 11 then work your way up again. Chances are you're going to do very well if you are very determined. Yeah? If you can't do that and your grade 11 marks are not very good, your grade 12 marks must be very, very convincing, very, very excellent. I told this other person on TikTok, I told them, I said, if your grade 11 marks are poor, then make your grade 12 marks so good that you force universities to recognize you regardless of your grade 11's performance. Young talk. Another scenario Bafedu, that we might have is someone who passes metric, but the way in which they pass is very, very poor. In two, three, four subjects, Bona, they got between level one and level three, which is not good. It affects them qualifying for the degree that they wanted or even for the institution that they wanted. For those people, I would still recommend that they go back and repeat the entire year week with a plan that is going to work. Ne? With a determination, with ideas of how they're going to do things differently. Especially if your grade 11 marks are also quite good. So that also apply a kaku here in the next year so that you can even get the universities that you wanted, the degrees that you wanted. Another scenario that we tend to have with students is students who do very well in every other subject. Now in the key subjects, your maths, your science and your languages, they get poor, poor marks. They get your 30s, your 40s. Labo, I would recommend to them that they go rewrite those subjects specifically. 
If you do not plan, then you plan to fail. If you have a plan, Yokuti, this is what I'm going to do differently. This is how I'm going to practice past papers. This is how I'm going to relearn and cover this content effectively so that I get a distinction when I rewrite. Then you deserve to rewrite. But if you're going to go there, do the same thing you were doing in metric and hope for a different result, then complain about, oh, these subjects are difficult. Oh, no, you're focusing on these two or these three or this one subject. Aye, you don't deserve to rewrite. When you deserve to go back to metric and repeat everything. However, this plan can be complicated because when you have to now apply again, you are having two results. You are waiting these new results that you wrote but also there's a statement with previous results. So it can get a bit complicated. Make sure that you consult your teacher on how this, so these results can be integrated so that you can apply with one single statement. So those are the only people that I would suggest them, but go with it, right? If it's only one or two subjects, if it's three, I would even say, I, uh, go back to metric. But fair to you, you do not know how many people, they just overlook these things. Yoguti, I need to rewrite, I need to redo my metric. They overlook these things. Then when they're in the workplace, now they have to apply for certain things. Haibo, I can't apply for that thing because my metric is bad. They want to go study something, but now it is now the point. And now you're already old and you're thinking, hey, Baba, as a 30-something-year-old, how am I going to go back and do these subjects? It closes doors for you. Pambile. And now it's harder to come back and correct those mistakes. So now when your mind is still fresh, when you still have energy, quickly come back and redo that. Don't worry about your friends leaving you. Don't worry about your peers leaving you. Worry about your own future. Be concerned and about your own dream, about what you want to achieve. But sometimes in life, you have to make decisions based on yourself. You have to step out of the crowd, step out of the audience. And think, Uguti, what is going to be beneficial for me, Ndodwa, in the long term? And those are the hardest decisions to make. Another scenario, Bafetu, that we tend to have are students who do well in matric, but they do not do well enough to get the first option of a degree that they applied for. Some have a tendency of applying for medicine, then thinking about what else can I make my second option so that I can branch into medicine? I want to dissolve this idea of branching into medicine. But Fedu, there's nothing as branching into medicine except the program here camp, which is graduate entry something program, EVITS. I don't know of any other institution that does this branching thing. Otherwise, in every other institution that I know of, you apply. Regardless of what you are doing engineering, you are doing accounting, you apply as a new application competing with all the high school applicants from that year. They still consider your high school results and now they also consider your university results. So regardless of you, whether you are doing engineering or a BSc in human anatomy, it doesn't matter to most institutions as long as you qualify for whatever you are applying for. So let us dissolve this idea of I'm going to choose my second option to be something such that I'm going to jump into medicine let us dissolve that however what i would say is that your first option is what you would do like your dream your second option is your second dream yeah if i go if i were not doing medicine what else would i be doing with my life if i were not doing engineering what else would i be doing with my life not what can i do to then branch in for example my first option was medicine but my second option was mechatronics ne? And if I had gotten mechatronics, I was going to be a little bit sad that I didn't get into medicine. But I would still be happy in mechatronics because I loved calculating. I loved designing things. I loved technology. It was absolutely a beautiful space for me. Young Tola Buffett. So that is the mentality that I want you to have as you apply. But if you do not get your first option, then go study your second option. Another interesting thing that we tend to find with students is that they apply to university, applying AUCT, for example. They get taken for their second option, but not their first option. First option being medicine. Then they're like, hmm, I wanted to go to UCT because it's the number one university in Africa for a reason. I'm going to go do my second option there. Then I hope that I'll be taken for my first option. That time, Yvette took him for the first option medicine. Uh, UFs took him for the first option medicine. Wusu took him for the first option medicine. But because of the status of the university, 
they're driven to go to UCT. That is the biggest mistake that you'll ever make because you'll realize when you get to university that there is nothing that is so distinctly huge or different with this ranking system when you get to the university, right? It's just a name, Yoguti, on my status, I am at UCT. But beyond that, there is nothing really significant. What you do realize, though, is the difficulty that you just go you just go through the most in that institution that you wanted to be. And then you ask yourself, but why am I even here doing something I don't even like just for the sake of being at UCT? Listen to us who've been in university for six years already. Ogoti, there is no difference much. What is important is what is in your heart. I want to be a doctor. My dream is not to study where? At UCT. My dream is to be a doctor. Regardless of where I'll be, I'll do my best and I will apply myself to get the best marks so that I understand the most information so that when I graduate, I go save lives. That is what is important and that is what should be in your mind. If you wanted to do become accounting, I wanted to study this thing because I love accounting. I love numbers. I love making a difference and impact through understanding how numbers work. Guys, that what is supposed to be driving you not the institution because you're going to soon realize Zogba, there is not much of a difference and that is quite sad so if you're someone who's not taken for their first choice in a specific university and you're taking someone else go there go do your best graduate and you'll see but there are opportunities open now you can even start entering that university you wanted to enter as a postgraduate but Fedu, there are so many things that you can do once you graduate but for now prioritize doing the right degree over being at the right institution. Then the last option, Bafedo, is someone who got rejected for, let's say their first option, which was medicine, in all the institutions that they applied for. That means that when your results are not quite competitive or your NPT results are not quite competitive, that means that you need to correct and rectify that. If it was your NPT that is letting you down, go rewrite, but now be more prepared. Go do that full research as to how to ace your NPTs on YouTube, Google, to prepare the best so that you improve those NPTs. If it's your results, then follow this algorithm that you've already created and improve what you need to improve so that you qualify for whatever degree that you wanted. If you're not willing to take this journey, then you can follow your second option if it was your dream. When and now don't do this thing, you're good, I'm going to enter my second option. If you're not taken in all other institutions, it means that you do not qualify for that degree, it means that you need to do something different. It means that the problem are your marks. It's not the institutions. They're not full. It's your marks that are the problem. That's what you need to fix. However, if you're already someone who has taken that second option, you're going to, I'm going to do, do EPSC in human anatomy in hopes that I will enter medicine. The options that you have is to apply for an entire camp, ne, events where they take graduates, right? and put them into the medical stream, right? But it's highly, highly competitive. As you can imagine, how many people wanted to go into medicine but did not go in and ended up doing the same thing that you're doing. So it's highly competitive and you need to get quite excellent marks in whatever BSc that you're doing, which is often challenging for students to get. Another option is that you have is to go back and fix your metric results so that you can apply with competitive marks. Guys, um, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching Buffet 2. If you enjoyed this video and if you'd like more of videos where we directly answer certain questions and provide clarity on these things, write in the comment section and say, Tam Diesel, we want another one. And Tam Diesel will deliver another one. Guys, please do not forget to like, to subscribe, to share this video, Bafet, to share this channel and hit the notification button so that you are one of the first few people to see when a video is being released. I promise, but now we're going to release again more often. But someone doesn't see exams, otherwise it does a good time.